Hello Virgo. Welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do your reading for the end of March 2020. Angels, Divine Spirits and Guides, what messages, overall message, do we have for my Virgo friends? What does Virgo need to know for the end of March 2020? This is, thank you angels, third chakra, Archangel. Wow, we have the second and the third chakra on board here. So that's, um, that's connecting. I mean, you got two angels, first of all. That's about connecting with the universe, connecting with the divine. Let's read third chakra, Shemuel. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but Kamel. All right. The powerful archangel Kamel is holding a beautiful sphere of golden light at the solar plexus, which is the location of your third chakra and the center of your life force energy. The issues here revolve around emotions and desire and your personal energy. When the card appears upright, it indicates that an increased enthusiasm is present or soon to be on its way. This is a great time to move toward the completion of your desires. Your life force is vibrating with power and resonance, and your soul is calling you to direct your energy in a focused, purposeful manner. This angel of power is with you now, so go for it. The completion of your desires. Hmm. increased enthusiasm so that makes me feel like excitement i mean your desires and um, enthusiasm being excited about something that you're doing and you're being divinely guided two archangels right off the bat angels what messages do we have for virgo for the end of march 2020 show virgo we're going to take three cards your past your present and your future for virgo end of march 2020 angels please and we'll take one more virgo these cards are very slow to come out virgo i should have got that card, but I don't know. It slipped back in there, and I couldn't get it. New cards. They're very slippery, but I got to use them so I can make them not slippery anymore. <laughs> All right, can we have one more card for Virgo, please? Angels, what do my Virgos need to know? I'm going to take that one right there. Thank you. My goodness. Ten of Pentacles reversed. That's the overall. So, could be a loss of financial stability. I feel like a lot of us are going through that right now. Someone may be laid off. Maybe someone's excited about being laid off. The Four of Pentacles in reverse. Sign of Capricorn letting go of something that no longer serves you that's my cleaning up the clutter like i'm not going to hold on to this anymore i'm just going to let it go it's not good for me it doesn't serve me and we have the queen of wands here so it could have been a fire sign that you decided to let go of you may have been the support per the support for this person because you got two money cards here like this person may have lived with you or you may have worked with this person. But I feel like someone was being taken advantage of here. The Emperor. Hmm. Interesting. Sign of Aries. So you could be dealing with an Aries here. That's somebody. This person right here. I mean, this person is difficult to get along with. No matter, you know, what you say to them. <laughs> you blocked them too, Seven of Wands. Standing your ground, saying no. Wow. 
Good for you. I feel like somebody's taking back their power here. I don't care about the money. Money is not that important to me. That's the message that I'm getting here. This could be a boss that you didn't want to have to that you didn't want to put up with anymore because this person's stubborn, they're rude, they're controlling. I'm also getting lazy. And the Emperor and the um, Queen of Wands is reversed. That's someone who doesn't do any work, doesn't put in any effort for anything. You had to let this person go. Wow. And stand your grounds. So if you were standing your ground in the situation, I feel like it was a very difficult decision. Angels, what additional messages do we have for my Virgo friends, please? Show Virgo what they need to see. Thank you. There's that Queen of Wands again. Definitely dealing with that person. And the Six of Wands. All right. Queen of Wands. This is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to if your heart is open. You're being asked to do many things at once. You won't mind as long as you know you're making a difference. This card indicates someone who's loving, intelligent, passionate, and fun, which could definitely describe you. This person can handle difficult situations with grace. And I said you were taking, you took, you took power away from this person. And you decided that you wanted to be in power. Like, you know what? I'm not letting you control my life anymore. I'm taking back. Look at this. Six of Wands. What a wonderful experience for you. Your project is a total success, bringing awards, promotions, or other recognition for your efforts. Well done. If someone who can help you offers assistance, know that this person is heaven sent and say yes. So I feel like you had an offer to leave, go to a new job, go to a new relationship. Something was heaven sent here. It got somebody out of a situation, hangman, thinking, huh? It got somebody out of a situation where they were not being treated properly. Angels, what additional messages do we have for Virgo, please? Show Virgo. Thank you. Take one more. Commitment. You could be married to this person. And have a child. Oh my goodness. Yep, well there's that wealthy man, you know. The wealthy man who thinks that he can control everything and everybody. But somebody saying, that's not important. You're not important to me anymore. I'm letting you go. I'm not letting you disrespect me. I'm not letting you treat me like that. This is splitting assets, so there could be somebody who's thinking about getting a divorce here because somebody's taking back control and they're going to be victorious. They're going to be successful. I feel like somebody's leaving a job here and starting something new, leaving a commitment and starting something new. The wealthy man, if he's not the one you're getting away from, he could be the one that's coming in with an offer here. This could have something to do with your creativity. Let's pull a couple of romance angels. Angels, what additional messages do we have for my Virgo friends, please? What does Virgo need to know about this reading on the table? Show them the message they need to see. Something's ended here. I feel like someone's selling a house, moving, finally getting away from someone or something. Free yourself, I told you. Somebody is freeing themselves from something. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Yeah, somebody like really treated you crappy. It's time to take back control of your life. What have I been saying the entire time? Somebody treated you crappy. And um, it's okay to forgive this person for they know not what they do. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Yeah, like somebody's leaving. Let 
and doing something new. Also, this could be that the person wants to talk to you and they want to give the relationship a chance. And that's when you're going to have the opportunity to forgive them, but you still need to free yourself from the situation. I feel like somebody's done here. I don't feel like this relationship is fixable. Because that's, I mean, that's letting go to me. Letting go, taking back my power. I learned from my mistakes. I don't want to work on this with you. I want to free myself. And I want to go with someone new or something new. Interesting, Taurus. Or Virgo. Did I say Taurus? My gosh. <laughs> doing too many readings. I just got done doing Taurus. All right. I'm going to leave that there. Divine timing is at work. So something is happening in divine timing. That's obvious with the two angels being present. The universe is here on this one. I'm going to do an angel answer segment for you. You can start focusing on a question now. I'd rather you not pick your number until the third card is down. Ah, I don't want you to see that. I hope you didn't see it. Once the third card is down, you can reach way down in your gut and pick a number. One, two, or three. It's important that you only pick one number, and then once you have your number, don't change your minds. Angels, can we have one more card for my Virgo friends, please? Okay, Virgo. What do we got? Now you can pick one, two, or three. Here are your answers, Virgo. It's up to you. It's up to you. Do you want to free yourself or do you want to continue being with this? Yes. Peaceful resolution. Well, the peaceful resolution to me is forgiving and learning. I feel like you're just going to talk to this person. I feel like you have a decision whether you want to continue this relationship or not. And I feel like you're going to talk to this person. And you are going to come to some type of peaceful resolution. But I just don't know. You have a decision to make. It's up to you. I'm going to leave that there, Virgo. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your situation. Oh, what's on the bottom of the deck? Improving health. This has been coming up everywhere. Somebody's stressed out here. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your situation and I will see you soon.